Hey, what's going on YouTube? So today we're going to learn how to get this gray background to look more like this. Now, I wanted to show you guys behind the scenes on how me and my cousin went ahead and shot this, but we shot on a GoPro. Come to find out that GoPro doesn't necessarily have the best quality video. If they do, I don't know how to go about and getting it. But let me go ahead and just show you guys how I managed to accomplish turning a gray background into a different color. Now, when you use the color gray, it's a very neutral color and it can change into any color that you would like it to and that's the great thing about the color gray so whenever you're shooting in like a color like green i know a lot of people have that misconception that chroma key it but that's not really the case with still images because the problem with the color green is that it spills onto whatever subjects in front of it green screening really only works for videos not so much pictures i had to learn that the hard way so please just stick to the color gray if you're trying to change the color of the background so let me go ahead and show you guys how i went about changing this color gray into this more pleasing color number one thing that we need to do is we need to figure out what color would match with my cousin's suit and his skin color so what we like to do is what I like to do is I like to go to Adobe color. So now that we're here, now this may look a little intimidating, but to be honest with you, this is going to be your best friend when it comes down to color grading videos or photos. This kind of gives you a good starting point on as to what color to use. Now we're going to pick a neutral color on the suit. And by doing that, the first thing, let me go ahead and trash this group and we're going to start all over again. So we're going to make a duplicate command J go on the color. I mean, the brush, my bad. I, I'm just I'm just stumbling over my words today. All right. And we're going to hold option and we're going to click on a color. Like a neutral color on his suit, we're going to double click that and we can use the HSB or the RGB whichever one you want to do or the CMYK, but I'm just going to go ahead and use the hex number, which is 57, 56, 6, 6, 6. I think I said too much sixes and that's dangerous to say. So yeah, we're going to go ahead and we're going to go and click on complementary. Choose the middle part and paste that number into there. Press enter and it's basically telling you these are the colors that will complement that particular color i went ahead and chose a color closest to the left which is 87 84 b3 so we're going to go ahead press copy now that wasn't necessarily the color that i used prior but this is a very close color so we're going to use 87 84 b3 now that we know that that's the background color we're going to use we're going to press cancel here and we're going to create a group. So we're going to name this background color. Bada bing, bada boom. And we're going to drag layer one into there, right? Now, the good thing about AI technology is that it has a tendency of speeding up the process so you don't have to cut out Mateus. So in order to do that, we're going to go ahead and click on subject. Now there's many ways to cut out Mateus, but I feel like subject is the most effective and fastest way. It may not be the most precise way, but we usually get close and it seems to have cut him out pretty well. So the next thing we're going to do, we're actually supposed to create a mask. There you go. My bad. Apologize. We all make mistakes. All right. So as you could see, when I created a mask, it filled him with white in the background black. Now, if you guys don't know already, um, black conceals, white reveals. And what is basically telling me right now is that the black is actually being concealed and the subject, which is Mateus here, is being revealed. We don't want that. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna press Command I and it's gonna go ahead and inverse that. Now we want to drag this mask on the group not on the layer all right so now that we got that all tied in together the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and click on solid color all right and oh, it seems like it already put um 
a color close to it, but we're gonna use this color instead. The one that we got from Adobe Color here. So we are going to press okay. Now, as you can see, it did a pretty good job, but it doesn't look real. And the reason why it doesn't look real is because it kind of, it's just a straight solid color with no texture to it. The next thing we're going to do is change the blend mode from normal to color. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go and click on levels, right? We're gonna hold the option key and click in between the color fill and the levels. That way the levels is only affecting the color fill. And we're going to adjust these parameters to make it look more real when it comes down to highlights and shadows. So let me go ahead and adjust it accordingly. And you gotta just keep on adjusting it until it looks Okay, now I kind of like it there. The next thing I want to do now, I want to get rid of these little wrinkles that you could see. It's very like not that noticeable, but I want to go ahead and try to make it as perfect as I possibly can, even though there's no such thing as perfect. I'm going to go ahead and create a um, stamp visible layer which is basically making a copy of the whole thing and flattening it and creating its own layer. So now that I did that, I'm gonna go ahead and put the hotkey down below. That way you know exactly what I pressed in order to get a copy of the whole thing. The next thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and go to select subject again. So we can select Mateus, give it some time. Bada bing, bada boom, bam. And we're gonna press command J so we can cut him out. So now all we got is Mateus on this top layer. And what I like to do is I like to select this bottom layer. I like to go to filter. There it is. Click on median. And what median does is it kind of blurs out the background a little bit. So you got to adjust it to the point where it looks real and not too fake. And I think the number <clears throat> 16 is appropriate and also be mindful of the corners as you could see it's kind of like blurring out the little hair parts of Mateus as well but you know we're, we're not pixel picking here unless you want to I'm not really the type to do that so um because <clears throat> we got money to make and I don't really got time to just be pixel picking every follicle and strand of hair that's coming out of someone's hair unless it's super noticeable so i like the number 15 i'm gonna go ahead and press ok and there you have it we went and changed the color gray to this i, I want to say it's lavender to this lavender color and it looks more pleasing to the eye it's not a boring gray it blends in nice with his suit his skin color and it's a perfect well pretty much near perfect headshot and that's pretty much it we just fried some fish deuces